Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Manu and today we are going to talk about this badass guitar. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, that's a small cover that I did for this demo. That song is from GGD. It's called Rock Demo 2. Shout out to the Get Good Drums boys, Matt, Misha, Nolly, Des, Joe. So this is the guitar that I purchased last 2019. This is a Squire Tally Custom Guitars, which I converted from humbucker set to humbucker single. It was originally a HH type of guitar which means humbucker humbucker i decided to upgrade it and convert it to humbucker and single i bought this guitar for uh, like 400 dollars or 399 dollars last 2019 and since then i was playing this guitar so I, oh, i'm not happy with it that is when i decided to upgrade this guitar and load it up with a bare knuckle pickups and a lot of features that i am going to reveal as we go in this video the upgrades that I did for this guitar, I replaced the pickups, I replaced the saddle, I replaced the tone knobs, knob, knob, sorry for my pronunciation, and also I replaced the strings and then I replaced the tuning and uh, put it down to drop C. For the bridge, I installed the latest pickup from Bernacle, which is the Polymath by Nolly. For the neck, I used and installed the Bare Knuckles Pile Driver. This guitar has a fixed bridge, so it has more stable tuning than having a Trem one. The next upgrade that I had is I replaced the tone knob and instead of having a single tone on humbucker, I converted it to push and pull. So whenever I pull it, this pickup will be on a single coil and whenever I push it, it stays on humbucker. The next upgrade that I had in this guitar is I upgraded the tuners into a graphic ratio, non-locking tuners, and yeah, it sounds really good. The strings that I'm using here is the Elixir strings. Uh, the gauge is 11 to 52. It is really hard in the Philippines to find 11 to 56 gauge made by Elixir. I don't think that they're manufacturing. And I would like to go with the Adario, but the Adario 11 to 56 gauge is not really common here in the Philippines. However, in United States, you can find it anywhere i think i live in the philippines by the way guys so if you notice my accent and it's it's really hard for me to speak in english but i'm trying my best to be good at it i'm not really a native english speaker i would like to exercise my brain in speaking in foreign language because i need it and it's a must and for those of you who don't know, I am a drummer. I just play, I just love these guitars. There is a reason for me why I am, I am playing and I'm upgrading my guitars and I will reveal that on my next videos. So please stay tuned. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification icon for you to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So the reason for the upgrade is I want to have a better tone and I would, would don't like to spend a lot of money buying a expensive body like fender because i don't really have a budget on that i hope i could afford one soon for now i'm really happy about this guitar this cheap guitar right here sounds really good sounds really nice it works for me works well the reason for the next upgrade is i love the bare knuckle pickup so much one of the main reason why i have this guitar and also i upgraded, I upgraded this guitar is i have different tunings as you can see i have a collection of cheap guitars right there a friend of mine advised that one tuning per guitar is recommended it it lessens the risk of destroying or damaging your neck. So let's go with the cost. It costed me a lot here in the Philippines especially but you know I love it, I need it and I went for it. Starting with the bare knuckle pickups, the polymath one, I bought this for $174 around like that price. Then the next one is the bare knuckle pile driver. This one costs around $107 and 
seven cents in dollars i also forgot to mention that i have replaced the pick guard it was originally a humbucker humbucker the pick guard costed around it's uh, 18 and 49 cents in, in us the next upgrade that i had is the saddle costed around 52 and 95 in us and then the next is the graphic ratio it costed around 66 and 19 cents in us and the push pull conversion of the tone knob costed around eight dollars to be exact it's 7 and 59 and the strings costed around 13 and 63 and the labor cost is around dollars all right guys so the total cost of the upgrade is around 497.52 cents in us or 25,560 pesos and uh, plus the body it's uh, around 400 dollars or 30,000 pesos and the total value of this guitar right now is 886.81 us dollars or 45,560 pesos it costed me it's good to have i like it i'm doing this for myself we only live once do you need it in my case yes because i'm a musician musician ah like i've said it's important for me to invest in this kind of things to improve my workflow and the quality of the content that i am producing in this channel i want to be known as one of the best youtube creators or one of the quality youtubers in the philippines that's my long-term goal i love what i'm doing and also i am trying my best to make this youtube world as a living if there is a chance why not and also another reason is it feels good to have a nice guitar i always make sure that it's well taken care of me and the guitar luthier my friend gerald who you know take care of all the guitars that i have yeah so my conclusion of having a guitar from a standard square to upgraded one it's really a huge difference especially in tone i can hear the difference especially in live and also in recording if you'll ask me if there's a big difference i can say yes especially if it's bare knuckles and ratio parts all right guys so i would like to shout out some people who helped me upgrade this guitar i would like to shout out roca or bob from guitar pusher i would also like to shout out my good friend gerald my personal guitar luthier who takes care of my guitar since 2018 2017 and also i would like to shout out bare knuckles you have done an amazing job up building these pickups i am looking forward for your new releases and i would also like to shout out graph tech for the saddle and also for the locking tuners this video is not sponsored by the way guys all of the cost that i've spent upgrading this guitar is from my pocket it hurts but you know i need it so i think that's it guys don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and also click that bell notification icon so whenever i upload you get notified please comment down below if you have questions and i will try my best to answer your questions and don't forget to enjoy because life is beautiful try to invest in yourself love yourself improve the things in your life and be on the next level in your life i think that's it this is your boy manu and see you on the next video